Monday, September 14th, day 118, I believe. Uh, today we'll probably hike about somewhere between 25 and 28 miles, depending on when we decide to camp. Uh, there's been a fair amount of elevation change. I believe we've, we're going to climb about 8,000 feet just to lose about 8,000 feet, so fair amount of elevation change today. Uh, probably, I mean, one time we've probably done elevation somewhere to this, maybe it was in the Sierras or something, so... Yeah, pretty good on the elevation. It's still been fairly smoky today. Smoky enough that, yeah, we're not really getting any great views or anything. There's a few places where it looked like we would have gotten pretty impressive views if it wasn't for the smoke. But still smoky enough that, yeah, our views aren't really happening. But I suppose we can't really complain about that too much as we have had really good luck with avoiding fires and having good weather and stuff. So a little smoke at the end, I guess, isn't the worst thing. Uh, we did also find, uh, some people apparently decided their bag was too heavy, so they left some chili on the side of the trail. Maybe not the best practice to do that, but we're taking advantage of it, and we'll probably have chili for dinner tonight, so... Yeah, <laughs> we both got a can. <laughs> Uh, we're at this river. I managed to cross on these logs, but they look a little thin and they kind of wiggle a bit, so Jerrica doesn't like it. We considered her trying to jump across these rocks, but she doesn't like that either. So I guess she's going to go up there and look for something, otherwise she might just have to get wet and wade. Can you throw a big rock in to give you a stepping point? Okay, so she got at least a little wet. Oh yeah, she's getting pretty wet. <laughs> Oh, that looks so undelightful. <laughs> so this tree seems fairly weird. It's, you know, quite a big tree. But it's barely in contact with the ground. It's like one root there, and this root that goes to that rock. But the rest of it is like, yeah, it just looks like it grew, basically, on a little soil on top of the rock. Such a huge tree and it seems like it's yeah, barely in contact with the ground. Tuesday, September 15th, day 119. Uh, it rained during the night, so I think that helped with the smoke a lot. As you can see behind me, the smoke's really cleared up quite a bit. 
We're getting some, yeah, not too spectacular, but fairly nice views. Uh, I believe we're going to hike probably somewhere around 22 miles today, when then we'll meet the support vehicles near Stevens, some Pass. Stevens Pass, that's it. Um, I don't think we'll really plan to get a hotel or go far or anything. We'll probably just resupply and then hopefully camp near or basically on the trail so that we can get an early start tomorrow morning. Yeah, the next section is going to be fairly long, like 120 or 125 miles or something. So that's probably going to take us like, I don't know, five days or so at least. So yeah, kind of need to be able to, I guess, put in the miles starting on the first day. Otherwise, we're going to have to carry a really lot of food. So even as is five or six days, that's, I don't know. That sounds like a long ways, but I would think we would have done some carries like that earlier on, but maybe the hiker hunger hadn't hit as hard or something, so we didn't need to carry as much food for that period of time. But currently, yeah, I'm a little worried with where I'm going to put all the food and how much it's going to weigh, but hopefully it won't be that bad. Thursday, September 17th. Um, I'm thinking we did a video yesterday. So what we did is we hiked 25 miles and then we camped here. You can see a nice big camp behind me. Just over there is a little stream. You might be able to hear it. I can. Uh, we were camped with the cars in a campground, but we knew we needed to do 25 miles. So we warned them that we'd want to get up early and get moving. So we got up at, well, around 6, like we normally do on trail. And we were hiking by about 8.30. And we were able to do the 25 miles by just after 6, which is good because it's starting to get dark really early. And by 7.30, if you're under trees at all, you pretty much need a headlamp to do anything other than walk around, like to filter water or clean up camp. Um, we've just started a really big section in between Stevens Pass and Rainey's Pass. It's 126 miles, so that's the biggest section we've done in a long time, and maybe the biggest section we've done on the whole trail. So we know it's going to take us at least five days, and we need to do 25 or more miles every one of those days. So today, I think we're going to try to do 26, just over 26 miles, and we'll see how that goes. There is a camp close to just after 25 miles, so there's a lot of elevation change, and if we're tired, we can stop at the 25, but it would be good if we could push to the 26 miles. So recently in Washington, we've been coming across these little signs pushing off to the side to toilets, and today we had one in our campsite, so we followed it. And up here, just a little distance from our camp, is this nice little toilet. I think that this is a really cool and really good idea that we've only so far seen in Washington. Uh, lots of places near lakes and streams, it's particularly the ones where there's lots of good camping. There tends to be quite a few places where they're covered in toilet paper, where it's clear people are either not digging a hole at all or not digging a deep enough hole. And lots of sign of people also going far too close to the water, so they're going to contaminate those water sources. So here, around all the lakes and like down here by this river where there's quite a bit of good camping, I'm guessing the Forest Service has decided to put in these little toilets. And it's keeping the area much cleaner. And it's really nice and convenient. People who are too lazy to dig a proper hole We'll still probably walk this short distance to go and use that toilet. This one was a little hard to find. Some of them are, I think, closer to the trail. But this one guarantees you a little more privacy. And it's still not a bad little walk. Right up here is the junction sign that also includes the toilet sign. So you can see right there talks about where these different discretion trails in the area where they go and then at the bottom it tells you that the toilet's right over there
you end up crossing some strange bridges when you go backpacking. Washington uh, likes their dipping bridges. <laughs> this one looks a little more exciting. Doesn't look like there's any other easy options. Up river or down river, so we're probably gonna give it a go. It doesn't look too, too bad. because I have no hands with my hiking poles and camera, but hopefully this isn't too slippery. There we go. Okay, it's Thursday, September 17th, and here we are at camp. <coughs> it's a pretty nice camp. It's a little bit more exposed than we have camped recently, but maybe that'll make it a little brighter in the morning. We've got these cool cliffs out behind us. Uh, smoke was around still today, but not as bad, so we were able to get some of the views. I thought today was very pretty. We spent a lot of time in the morning walking up uh, long hills that looked a lot like these ones. Uh, really green, lots of huckleberries. Uh, and then in the afternoon, we walked through a really old forest that had a lot of moss and some bigger trees, and it was pretty cool. Uh, we crossed two broken bridges today, a lot of water. All day there was a lot of water. Part of the day the trail was practically a stream, and then uh, we crossed a lot of bridges, probably five or six, and then two that were broken. We did end up going to the slightly farther camp, so we've gone just over 26 26 and a half miles about that today. There was quite a bit of elevation change. I'm not sure how far we're going to go tomorrow. Somewhere around 25 miles. We have a couple of sections with some pretty intense switchbacks where we drop switchback straight down to switchback straight back up. So we're predicting that it's going to be a pretty tiring day and that might slow us down some. We're also going to come to a river that the old PCT used to cross in almost a straight line, but then the bridge washed out years ago, and when they went to put in the new bridge, the only good site for it was like two and a half miles upriver. So now it makes almost a five mile additional detour where you just walk up the river across the bridge and then right back down. That's also where a uh, fire is nearby. A lot of the trails that leading along the river the rest of the way are closed. And when we started this section about two days ago, the fire was about three miles from the PCT. So when we get to the junction tomorrow, we'll have to decide whether we want to take the old trail and try to ford the river, or whether we want to take the detour, which will add a lot of miles, but it's the real PCT now, but will also bring us closer to that fire. That'll be at the very end of the day tomorrow.